In this section, we'll find out how to set up channels in chat and how to place the chat bubble on any other website than your top desk self-service portal. Let's start with placing the chat bubble on an external website. This function can help you support end users that do not make use of your self-service portal, such as visitors of your commercial website. To place the bubble on an external website, go to the chat interface. Click on Settings and enable Embed Chat in an external website. Here, you can find the HTML to insert into your website's code. You can also change the color of your chat bubble to match it to your website's design. Similar to chat conversations that come in through your self-service portal, chat conversations from your external website will end up in the chat operator section. However, details about end users that use chat outside of your self-service portal are not available as these are listed as unregistered callers. Note that on the settings page, we can set the incoming conversation type on the incident card. In this case, we have already set this as chat. For our next steps, we're now going to set up the operator channels in chat. Channels are operator groups in chat, to which chat conversations can be transferred. They should reflect the way you have organized your chat process. In this example, we will have a first line where all chats will come in. In this first line, end users will either be helped fully or be transferred to a specialized team of agent, in this case, facilities, HR or IT services. The default channel is the channel where all chats come in. If a user is available that is part of the default channels group, the chat bubble will show the status online. In this case, we will call the default channel first line. Operators that belong to this channel are part of the Service Desk Top Desk Operator Group. Now, we're going to add the other channels. Note that settings are automatically saved on this page, so there is no need to press a Save button. We have now successfully added all channels. Don't want to work with channels yet? No problem. Just make sure you have a default channel with an assigned operator group. This will ensure that the chat bubble is available for end users whenever a default channel operator is available in chat. On the operator side, all chats that are relevant to the specific operator will be shown under that chat tab. These might consist of new incoming conversations or conversations that have been transferred to a channel that the operator is part of. They might consist of both, if the operator is part of various operator groups. The label on the conversation will indicate to which channel the conversation belongs. Make sure to remember that operators from the default section need to be available in chat to have the chat bubble displayed on the SSP or external website. You now have successfully set up chat.